So Indiana Jones is, uh, has been a great adventure for us in a development sense as well. Uh, you know, we've got four movies to kind of mine for character concepts, and uh, one of the ones that we've kind of held off on, which is actually my favorite, which is somewhat of a controversy even in-house, is uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, so we're finally kind of bringing the premium format line to those characters. So what we're tackling first off is, well obviously we'll be dealing with Indy, but you know one of the other great characters from that film is Mola Ram. And uh, not just because he represented a really great sort of serial type villain in the Kali cultist leader, but just his costuming and whatnot represented a really unusual change or just there's a little bit of different flavor than what we typically are, are dealing with on the premium format side. So it's, you know, very cultural, very shamanistic. It was a, and it was kind of a hard garment to kind of de-engineer because it's really a big wrap, kind of wraps around his body several times, goes up over his shoulder. It's got a red and black facing that we had to kind of, you know, figure out the, the math of, you know, if you fold it over his shoulder one way, the red shows when it needs to be the black. Um, He's got this great headdress that's sort of the, an amalgamation of a human skull and a, and a buffalo, or like a water buffalo skull, and there's this mane of hair that comes off it and a little sort of voodoo face on the front. And uh, so we did, we did a, in the, in the design we incorporated two heads, one that has him just, uh, you know, bald-headed with this really great uh, sort of tattoo uh, paint that he, he wears. And the second, of course, was this great shamanistic headdress. And the scene that we really wanted to evoke was when he, you know, pulled the heart out and it, you know, catches fire and whatnot. It's definitely where he's kind of at the top of his spiritual power, you know, representation in the film. So for Mola Ram, because we had done a lot of effort in kind of creating these two great signature heads, we really didn't want the customer, when it came time for the exclusive retail piece that we always do, to have to kind of make a choice. So we decided to add in a, somewhat of a little prop replica, which was something that was just, it's just a great prop from the film, which is this sort of death chalice that he uses, you know, to sort of kind of turn Indy to his own will. And, uh, you know, it's got this head that sits in this giant cup and it's really just awesomely grotesque. And so we made this small piece as an, as an additional piece to sort of augment the, the offering. Um, and it's kind of neat because it also, uh, the base evokes some of these themes as well because there's these sort of desiccated heads that sort of uh, fit into the architectural ring that the base makes up. And, you know, the, the base that we did for the previous ones really kind of was reaching to bring some of the feeling of the film out. And this does the same thing, just kind of catching this kind of, uh, you know, Indian mysticism kind of thing. Peace really just really came together in the end in a way that you know we were, we were pretty happy with. I mean, I know Indy's the star, but I think we got a little carried away on this piece, and we were, we were pretty excited by uh, the way it turned out, and I think everybody's gonna really dig it.